I had early starts. Welcome to Auto Mechanica 2023. This is what you're greeted with when you come in. The starts and the stalls and thousands of people. So, very first stall has got something uh, very interesting on it. It's the Bosch stall. And we have what appears to be a hydrogen fuel cell. When you get a chance to Mind get us some spec detail on that. Very interesting bit of kit. There'll be the ECUs. We got a representative from uh, the Boss team, Boss UK, is it? Yes. And he's just going to give us a little bit of information about what the fuel cell is on on display. So um, this is this is a dual stack fuel cell. It's used in a commercial vehicle application. So on highway, so think big truck. Big truck, yeah. Because yeah. they won't be able to go electric. Um, you could, but you'd haul a very big battery. Yeah. So yeah. you need to make your own electricity on board. Yeah. So it uses hydrogen, and it uses uh, solid outside fuel cell technology. Are they like the pellets or something I've seen? So hydrogen pellets. No, 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 no. It uses it's hydrogen gas. gas. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. But it's a but it's a fuel cell. It's a fuel cell technology. Yeah. And. Um, yeah, it should go into production soon. soon. Yeah, soon, very yeah. soon. So it, it, it is only a, te a test, a finished working test machine yeah, yeah. Re ready for production. Yeah, it yeah, is, yeah. It'll, it'll go into production in, uh, in North America. Right, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it's, you can see there's there's a lot to it. You can see that the, obviously the weight is very significant. Yep. Yeah. A very uh, heavy piece of equipment, Mostly. not as heavy as a battery, um, but yeah, the idea is... And it looks beautiful and really well made, unlike a battery, there's some yeah, beautiful bits of CNC yes. machining on it and pipe work. Yeah, so that, that's what hopefully is going to be powering lorries and trucks and everything else in the Absolutely. future. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, well, you saw it, you saw it here first. <laughs> Yeah, well, there's, there's, there's a couple. Of, yeah, I did. did I did, ECUs on did this. see the ECUs on there. That's yeah. something which I spotted. Which uh, you got so you, just twin ECUs, I believe, isn't there? Yeah, there's twin ECUs. That's because there's two stacks. There's two stacks. Right. Um, so that's like two single. Exactly. Um, Depending on your power output, you yeah, could yeah. have a third stack. Right. So it's adaptable. For yeah, yeah, it's modular. You could right. have one, two, three. You can add more stacks based on the amount of power, electric power you need. Um, we just need a big hydrogen economy. Somebody to make all the hydrogen. You, you're preaching to the converted. I think we're, <laughs> we're headed for a mix of everything for the next 10 to 15 years. It's just going to be a mix. Yeah. And it's yeah. going to be based on application. Yeah. Whatever the domain, the operational domain of that particular application, it'll suit yeah. hydrogen fuel cell. Yeah. It might uh, suit... Um, yeah. Combustion of the hydrogen, it yeah. might be full EV, yeah. we're going to find a, a mix, yeah. you know. Well, what, the, what the customer wants will win out in the end. Um, the legislation force everybody values to use electric, I don't think it'll work. It's like legislating what music you want to listen to. People aren't going to want it, you know, yeah. they're going to want choice, so um, that's my opinion. Um, but yeah, I can't, I can't see the electric future in the cells. If somebody wants to have a little time run about and they can plug in, fine. I've got no problem with electric propulsion. That's great, but for everybody, trucks, oh, yeah. it isn't. You know, it just, it just isn't. It just yeah. isn't. Yeah. Right, I'll, I'll let you right. crack on. Thanks ever so much yeah. for I'll just have a few more little shots, and I'll be on my way. Thank you. Right, that was Bosch. Very nice people. Lovely bit of kit. See what else we can find. Here's a familiar brand for everybody. It's Autel. Everybody will know Autel. We uh, 
as you know on the channel if you watch it we use the uh, we use the MS 909 quite a lot and uh, hello I'm just making uh, some footage for our YouTube channel is yep. that okay to film it? yeah so what we've got here these are our entry level service scan tools from then so we've got full system code scans, live data, service like reset, the rewinds, DPF injectors, some good all round service maintenance scan tools, secondary scan tools, recovery trust tools from there. Just recently released the 900C and the DSA 28 EU. And the list price on that is only so four, got 495. Yep. And it's got live data. Correct. And test adaptions. Yep. From there. Live directional then. For Correct. Oh, not bad. Um, up the range, next one up, DS 900 EU. And then we're dropping across to the 906 Pro, which then has a Bluetooth on board. Is this, the, uh, this is the MS 909. This is the 909 from this there. One, everybody will know about the MS 909. It's got a different menu to mine. Yours is blue. Yours is different. Ah, there we go. Cool. That's yeah. why. <laughs> yeah, recently launched. You've got to tell us recently launched about the remote programming Absolutely. functions. So which, uh, new tab using. on the scan tool from then. This is where we can outsource our jobs. Requirements of that, module programming, software updates, so we'd code scan the vehicle in the usual format, press remote expert from then, we'd then have a list of all tell users that have the main dealer scan tool, they can then respond back to the quotation. Yep, and people may know that when we use it in Norwich, our friends at A1 Diagnostics, Correct. they're the guys who do our Otis programming, um, etc. Um, so when we can't program it, which is very rare, but we do have to go online and uh, when we sell you ECUs and we say you'll probably need to get somebody, previously we were saying get somebody with Oscar to do it, and a lot of you bought Oscar and had to pay the fees, you can now use the Autel to do a very similar thing. Um, check it out, you've got to update your Autel because if they haven't done an update it won't be there, if that was right. Correct. So if you update your Autel, because uh, I know you lazy buggers don't do it, you keep using it and, and ignoring it, once you update it you'll see it go live, and it's this button here, the remote expert I believe. Correct. So you press on the remote expert, which... Yep. Uh, you need to create a profile. Is, yeah. So um, check it out on your scanner if you, if you need anything, or give us a ring and we'll guide you through it and tell you um, how to use it. Right, and that's the MS-909 again. Well, that's yep. 919. Bolt-on option of this one, EV expansion pack. Ugh, we don't like electric vehicles on our program, but... <laughs> so but direct, we're going to have to do it, aren't we? the battery, yeah. Yeah, so that's, that's that one. And that one comes with the four channel scope. Four channel scope, yep. Four, four channel scope with that one, whereas the MS-9 and 9 doesn't come out. The advantage with this one is it's a lot smaller to get in your car, whereas this one is a bit chunky, which if you've got a scope already, you won't need it. Um, but it is a handy little scope. Yep. We've, got, scope. It on, we've yep. got it on different tools, and it is handy to have it on the tablet rather than getting your laptop out and your Pico out. And it is, it's a good scope. I've, uh, I have used one, although we don't have one at our shop. And then we have the big daddy. The Ultra. The Ultra. Diagnostics, split screen, scope. Split screen, now that's handy. Yeah, we don't have the split screen on the uh, 919s, do we? No, no. and the Ultra. Yeah. And that comes with the interfaces again, which Correct. would same be... Correct, same size that one. Same yeah. size that one, so you'd have to have the four channel scope. Correct, right. yeah. And that comes obviously with the remote assist, uh, Correct. The yep. remote expert. So back on the scan saw from then. Yeah, all the back. same software, basically all the same yep. functions. And then um, we've got, then got your tab from there. Right, and other things on the Autel range before yep. the battery runs out, yep. what have we got? We've expansion got pack. Expansion pack, which is uh, for the electric yep. vehicles, yep. If you're into that, if you're that way inclined, that's then, for you. And then your bolt-ons, battery tester. Bolt-on battery tester. Is that Bluetooth that then goes to the... Correct. And it does the yep. ripple tests and the Absolutely. resistance yep. tests and everything yep. else in there. So that, so that would actually hook onto my 909 now yep. then? Yep, so you've got... On the back right. of the scan tool. Yep, let's go back to the 909. Sorry, guys. So, going across from there, you've then got your battery tester. So if I check my software, it would be on there, would it? Battery you have the tester. application for it. Yeah. You just have to purchase this. I can't think that I've seen it. So we'll have to download this. No, on the scan tool. That will be on there. I'll look for that on next time. On a vehicle, time, yeah. on a workshop floor from there. Lovely, lovely. Anything else in the range? Any thermal cameras or anything? We should no, no. And TBMS tools from there, stand from there. Still, we'll have a quick look at those and then we'll be on the way. So that was Paul from Auto. Thanks very much. No worries. Yeah, have a good day. Take care. Cheers, thank you. No worries. Yeah. What's going on with Auto? And here we've got Top Gun UK, one of the more popular stands as you'll see, but it's, uh, it's pretty round. Uh, we'll just have a quick look at our range and see if anyone wants to have a chat with us. 
I'm just here with uh, Jack from Top Don, and uh, he's going to give us a quick run through of the, uh, the Top Don range. You might have put some subtitles on if you've got a lot of noise. You don't have any special mics, but um, if you fire away and show us what you've got. Hi guys, so uh, yeah, so here at Auto Mechanic at Birmingham today, we've got the TC View, TC001, TC002 thermal cameras for Android and Apple. Uh, these thermal cameras also work with our Phoenix range of tools that you can see here. We've got the light, the Phoenix Elite, Phoenix Max, Phoenix Remote, and over here, the Phoenix Smart. This one here is our best seller. Um, so with this tool you'll get the online cloud-based programming and coding for 15 vehicle brands as well as the full diagnostic software within the tool. And uh, so we, we were just having a little chat before we started. It's basically, if you're familiar with Launch and Think Tool, which are the two we use quite a lot on the show, and um, Luke, who often gets his top don out, you know that basically all the same software. Who yeah. knows what these big wigs in the companies do with like charging whatever, but we as the end user, we know it as launch-based systems, that's what yes. we call them. Yeah, so, so it's that would be similar to the Euro Tab 3 and the Think Yeah, Mac, yeah. so um, la a few launch-based software, and um, we change the user interface, we upgrade the tablets. Um, but they're all based off of the launch platform, so they all work in a very similar way. Um, Top Don just add in additional features like the cloud-based programming. Um, the product support for us is the most important part of our business, so we offer UK-based product support. Um, anyone that buys any product through Top Don UK or any of our distributors, we're, we're here to help as and when you need us. And you're the Diagnostic Connections, is that So right? Diagnostic Connections is one of our, it's our biggest distributor. Um, the company directors of Diagnostic Connections started Top Don UK. Right. Um, but being that they are so busy with their business, yeah. Me in to, to build up Top Don UK as well. So. Right, so if, I need to, uh, if anybody wants to check out Top Don online, do you have a, a website? We do indeed. QR code we can just zoom in on. I've got a QR code here, you can. Right, so if you can see that, that's the website. Topdondiagnostics.co.uk. And as you know, we always use Top Don launch think tool we've had some very good experiences with top done we like it um, the customer service behind the product you choose is the most important thing that's that is the thing yeah definitely don't be tempted to buy the top don from china because you've got no backup with it um, we've all done it we've all bought things in the past and then when we go we do updates and it doesn't work anymore you're on your own but uh, not with these guys because they are the probably uk guys thanks very much for your time um, that was no jack and uh, have a good day this is obviously why the channel is, uh, sorry, the place is very busy. We have the one and only Diagnose Dan. He's fixing it again. Um, as always, right? <laughs> as always, as always. Pleasure to meet you. I'm a big fan of Thank yours. You. A subscriber. Um, can you just show us what you've got here? Of course, this is a DDTSB. This is a, a product we've developed for the aftermarket. It basically are aftermarket uh, bulletins. So what we can do, we can select the car. We can do it on license plate, we can do it manually or by VIN. Once we have selected a car, all we have to do is enter a fault code or a, uh, a symptom and the system will search through thousands of TSBs and it will come up with the most likely problem, so the most like, likely cause. So in this case, we're going to show it all and I hope the internet going to help us a little bit. I think bit. the internet is bad. Yeah, we it just is tried, bad. Yeah, just yeah. tried a moment ago and it wouldn't. So, on this car, if we got this fault code, this is the most likely cause. So it will save you a lot of time, a lot of stress, and yeah, it will make diagnosing easy again, right? Yep. Yep. I'm sure most of my subscribers would have already known you by known now. Known about it. Yeah, yeah. They, they know about it anyway. Yeah. But uh, thanks very much for your time. Um, so if you haven't checked out this guy's um, YouTube channel, Diagnose Dan, thank you check guys. it out. Thank you very much. And here's a very familiar company. Our channel will know we use Think Tool quite a lot, or Think Car. Um, I'm here with Alex, Alex Gilbanks. Yeah. Yep, from Think Tool, Think Car think UK. Right. And if you could just give us a quick show through the range and just. Uh, okay, this one here is one of our newest products, it's called the Euro Expert. It's fairly new. Um, it's a complete 12 inch tool. Got the new colour scheme. Yeah, it's the black horrible, tool. Not yeah. horrible red. Yeah, the black is basically to signify the European range. That's right, what it's yeah. for. So, and it's the only one that's still red is the Max, actually. 
But this one comes with a two channel oscilloscope. Two channel, yeah. It comes four with. Four channel with the yeah, other exactly. one. Yeah, exactly. So the four channel comes with that. But we've also got the TPMS bolt on on the back as well. Right, so we yep. can just go straight up to the wheel and do TPMS on the back. Right. That's what that's for. Uh, we got this is our fast fit tool. So this is um, non bi directional, so service resets, code reading, and so on. But then it's then got um, a TPMS add on and back. But it's good value, they're 695 plus fat and they're still Bluetooth. This is our new IMO tool. So the IMO Master um, offers good value. It's 1495 plus fat, but it includes the, the our equivalent Xprog tool. And, and it'll do. Get, just quickly, the Xprog tool is the additional one you can put yes, with the Yes, you, you get exactly that. So yeah. it comes with this. Recently, and no, we've got a stock of the new ones now, so the yeah. Prog 2 is back in stock. Yep. Right. So they are back in stock. 695 for memory? Uh, yeah, I think it is, yeah. yeah. We don't yeah. sell loads of them. We don't do loads, but no. when you buy it as a standalone, it doesn't do as many keys as this will. Uh, we've got a great little smoke machine over here, which we sell absolutely loads of. Um, they're 350 plus VAT at the moment. They're about to go up next month. Uh, but they're 350 plus VAT. They're standalone, so they don't need an airline. And uh, they're, they actually produce up to 16 PSI as well on this cracky little tool. Lovely. Um, we, all, we all need a smoke machine yeah. in our life. The, and then, uh, what's the retail on that? Uh, 350 plus fat. 350. So That's a good bargain. price. That's a good price. Uh, and then this is actually our best seller is the big Think Car Max. This is the one everybody in the channel will know. We have a review on this uh, scanner coming up actually. We filmed it some time ago and then uh, we've been using it for about six months now. And we're going to do an after six months review and uh, see how we're getting on. But Weber's called the, uh, this have you seen the remote this touch screen interface. So this has now got a remote on it where we're, we can do remote programming. This is what we've been saying before. We've been waiting for the remote to come yep. out, which is something I need to speak yeah, to you about to actually. Remote. This has got the, so if I go, this has got the remote here. Yeah. Just get it online which quickly. Is, which is the future of diagnostics, as we all know. So what we now do, no, wrong button. Under pressure, on her. Yeah, no pressure. Click on no there. Pressure. So now what we've got is we've got remote diagnosis over here. Yeah, to get that on your screen, I'm guessing we'll it's, have to do it's an update. Still, no, it's still beta testing at the moment, so not every tool has been rolled yeah, out to. because we don't have yeah. it on ours. So what you need uh, to do is, uh, once I've enabled it to the serial number, we yeah. click on the settings in the top right, then we go settings down here, uh, we check for the APK update, so it actually updates the whole printing system. Yeah. So we need to do that, but I need uh, currently still only enabling it per serial number. Currently that's all we're doing. So we go remote diagnosis here. And then we can actually, if you don't know who you want to use, you can just throw the job out and go, right, I want to program this. And it will throw it out to all the technicians. Yep. But if you know you have a specific technician in mind, you can click on a business list and it shows you who's online. So for example, we can click at Tom uh, Auto Electric in down in Devon. We can click on him, send him a message. Hi Tom, I want to program this job. Can you do it for me? And it will take control of your tool for you. There we go. That is the so future, the of, job future of diagnostics. As people who've been following the channel know, We've been doing a lot with other tools. Um, hopefully we're going to hook up. We're going to speak to Alex in a minute, see if we can hook up on this as well. Um, otherwise, on the range, what else do we have here? What uh, we've got, um, this is our small remote tool, I think. It's a small remote tool. So this is basically a handheld version of our remote tool. So, no, that's our truck tool, sorry. This is our budget truck tool. So as you, a lot of truck tools at the end of the day are um, three, four thousand pound upwards. This one's only a thousand pound plus VAT for a decent all makes HGV tool. So we go truck, bus and machinery. We can still do things like diggers and tractors and stuff with it for a grand. Yep. So really well priced. And the commercial people, that'll be, yep. that'll be the one. We've got this one here, which is, we kind of see it as like our perfect body shop tool. So for the garage who don't want to get too involved, they know the limitations, who want an all makes code reader. So it's an all makes tool. And then what we can then do is click back and then we can still go into the remote diagnostics. So we can then get somebody to complete the job remotely. So that's that, and these are 13.95 plus that. So they're really well priced. As I said these, we sell them almost as a body shop tool. That one. We got our battery support unit. Battery support then, unit, big old beefy one. one. We got our X10 over here, which is kind of our best-selling remote tool. Actually, this has been out for a while now. The remote tool. And this is mainly for specifically. It's, 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 still, it's still an all makes tool, yeah. but it's, it's been designed specifically remote in hand. Right. So yeah. it's got uh, it's already ready to go. So. Uh, but it's hardwired, so a lot of people like the stability for the programming. Yeah. You can go your Ethernet straight into the top and then you're ready to go. Um, we got that one there is a dedicated HGV tool again. This is HGV, yeah. So it's called the Master TV, this one. And then we've got our new injector test station as well. So HGV, so listen, guys, that would be the one for you. The so list, list price on this uh, one? 19 plus the VAT, but that includes two years updates and the full cable set. 
Lovely. And finally, as we were seeing the ones on the front, this is pretty new, is it? The yeah, it's great. It's first time we've kind of had it out, yeah, so uh, GBI injector tester. People who've been watching our friends, uh, once we have the links to uh, LA Garage, have seen his injector test. A different make to this, but along the similar lines. Does that have ultrasonic cleaner? Uh, yes, it has, yeah. I yeah. haven't got it well out of the box. Ultrasonic yes, cleaner, you put your injectors in. Check out his videos. This That's, is uh, this LA only been out about two weeks, and it's a higher pressure than the old one. Right, so. Um, Retail on this one? 11.95 plus to be 18. 11.95. And just to wind up, because so my battery is running out, <laughs> think to you to website. Thinkcar.uk. Uh, thinkcar.uk. Or come and see us at ecuconnection.co.uk and uh, we'll put you in touch with um, best people to buy it from. And uh, let's go on to the next one. Here's a familiar company that somebody may know Gendan. Bought plenty of things off Gendan before. They always turn up on time. Never had a had a problem with them. Genuine VCDS. Uh, see if the rep's got anything to tell us. Uh, we've Flagship got the, only, the only 50 TS product over here is proven very popular. Which, um, is that like an entry level kind of? Uh, yes, it's uh, it's a touchscreen tablet uh, diagnostic tool. Comes in 50 makes. Uh, it also adds in um, functionality to program TPMS tyre sensors. Uh, and you can read the tyre sensors and program them to the car. Uh, it does its all sort of one click updates, Wi Fi yep. online and things, and with wireless connection to the car. And list this price, uh, that one is $495, including the back. Oh, that's good value. So yeah. I say, scanner under 500 quid doing TPMS. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, so it works with the Fox so it's got the, the Fox own TPMS sensors. Yeah. Uh, it comes with a set of four of those. And um, so you can program those, and they're reprogrammable. So if you want to you know, put fit into the car, you can program them to so virginize them and put them yeah. on one to another if you want to. And also you can clone sensors as well. So if you wanted to fit a set of alloys to a car, mm -hmm. you can clone the original sensors, copy them onto the alloys, and the car won't know that you've actually changed the sensors or changed the tires over. Very good. And you've still got the classic Fiat Com, Force Com, yes, yeah, um, the range of Ren Coms, yeah. yeah, the Secom tools. That's so Plenty, plenty of those before. I think I had the fit multi ECU scanner oh, yeah, as well when, when, when it was the yeah. yeah when it was the old um, multiplexer. Yeah, 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 I think yeah, yeah. they were telling me last year it was Ukrainian and you can't get them anymore. We, they've just come through the supply again now. Uh, supply. Yeah. Well, that's good news. Can no, tie car. That was the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It was made over. Yeah, made in Ukraine, so they, they did disappear from the for a while. Yeah, understandably. Um, but they're actually uh, manufacturing again and, and shipping. So we, we've had stock for those probably in the last couple of months. There we go. Anybody interested in multi ECU scan? You can also use it for four scan. Well, yeah. 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 Yes, yeah. you can, you can use, uh, like, I think you can get different licenses for the Canto car interfaces to use. Yeah. Fantastic, well, you know where you heard it first. Right, so wind this one up. That's the guys at Gendan, and uh, that, that was Grant for giving us a run through. Thanks very much. And a very familiar name, Launch UK. Uh, we've been losing, uh, we've been using launch equipment for many years. Um, I've featured in a few videos. Uh, got the new launch key programming tools available. Lots of things. Hopefully, we're going to grab somebody from launch and uh, see if we can get a rundown of what's new in the world of launch. There he is. Hello, uh, that's my old friend Richard from Launch. How are you doing? Camera Justin? ran out earlier. Just yeah. uh, say hello again. Yeah. Good just uh, again. had to use a backup camera. Right. So we, okay. we ran out. Is there, uh, are you free in a minute to just show us what's new with Launch? So we put it on the on the YouTube. Yeah. Right? yeah. Do you want to uh, narrate to us because I won't know what's what is what? Okay. Well, looking starting here. These are the new Smart Safe Launch. And Kevin there on Smart Safe, by the way. Hello, that's, Hello. that's Kevin. Kevin from Smart Safe, yeah. yeah. Kevin this from Smart is a range of EV tools that are now available. Now, there's all sorts of tools here. There's tools which check the fluid is not leaking from the batteries, tools which regulate the battery cells because things are very, very technical now. This is a diagnostic, particularly for EV, and you can see it's got the four channel oscilloscope built in. So it's quite an amazing bit of kit. So EV tools are coming onto the market now, and obviously we've got to move with the time, so. Smart Safe launch in collaboration. In collaboration, yeah. And we've got Absolutely. the more the more familiar tools here. We've got the more basic range down this end, have we? Yeah. Well, this is key programming yeah. range here, isn't it? Well, no, this one is the tab, Eurotab 3, which is ever popular on, you know, for ourselves at the moment. 
it's, it's our top range tool. Universally, we, we are selling many of them. Um, so, you know, I don't want to sell it so. Uh, so it does a lot of online coding and uh, oh, uh, remote diagnostics, exactly. remote network, online remote programming, system. you know, full software suite, absolutely everything on a Euro Type 3. And, and, that, um, and you that's, know, that's, that's the optional key programming tool with it, that's the key. Yeah. So our key program is pretty good. It reads the EEPROM, you know, so yep. you know very, very well. Yep. Um, and uh, we're finding more and more uses for it. For instance, this, this is a new box of gearbox adapters, so that if you read the gearbox data off the module, you can then fit the correct gearbox adapter in order to, to, to clone a gearbox. So yeah, you can that's take the auto gearbox, gearbox so like yeah, DSGs and... DSGs, yeah, yeah, yeah. in fact, a lot more than just DSGs, there's all sorts of different collections here, including Mercedes and BMW and ZF gearboxes, all sorts of different fittings there. So that the gearbox adapters, and then we've got the little Euro tab, is it? For the remote assistance yeah. or yeah. Remote, they call a remote it. smart link yeah. dongle, remote smart link, which is connected to a company, which will then get them through any gateway that they get stuck with. So yep. Yeah. 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 And then breakout lead set. Breakout lead set. Very popular with us. And what have we got? An oscilloscope there? It's a two channel scope, is it? For the... That's a two channel. But there's coming to four channel scope. four channel scope. It comes with our Eurotab 3 yeah. TPMS tool, TPMS valves. And Smartlink. And Smartlink, yeah. It comes with that. In that corner is Jimmy O'Reilly, O'Reilly Autos. Yep. Does many DPS repair videos, and he's probably the best specialist I've ever met. He's So check, check, check him out, he's got some YouTube videos on O'Reilly oh, O'Reilly Autos. He's, he's probably one of the busiest guys on YouTube now yep. for, for the car trade. He, he has like a million hits on his videos. He's an absolute uh, specialist on DPS. So, someone for us to look up to. Maybe check, check that one out if you haven't already. Yep. And we've got Injector Cleaner, yep. I believe. It's, it does the new type of So you're looking at dipping our pockets to do it ourselves. With an ultrasonic cleaner as well. Yep. And then yep. an ultrasonic test kit in the back. Absolutely right. And uh, yeah, you're familiar with it. Yep, well, that's a very disconfused one of those. Yeah. Yeah. They don't know about it really, that's the difference. Yeah, it's, uh, it's handy. We've, we've actually sold my mechanical one himself, different brand, sadly. Um, um, but yeah, we, we had one which is over fueling and it pinpointed that. Um, couldn't clean it because it was naked. But um, yeah, yeah, it's more and more fuels and dirt in so dirt and dirt and smoke one do you? The old smoke one is still going strong. Yeah, we could probably look at our parade and want a bit of pressure because the smoke two is the one with now extra pressure exactly yeah, yeah, yeah. these are a really good price but there's there's a bit of extra pressure in it but it's more the fact that you can turn it down to a low pressure and yeah. you can actually have a small amount of smoke coming out so you can really pinpoint the leak when it's a small and it's got the UV dye with the uh, the baby oil and UV dye in it as well that's uh, yeah, so we run out of that we just use the baby oil in a minute but we use, we use our smoke tester quite a bit as, um, yeah, yeah people wonder why you got it in the workshop as well um, Right, here's a name you may not know. It's our friends here in Norwich at A1 Diagnostics. Um, when you see the Autel scanner, these are the suppliers. And uh, we're going to speak to Adam, Adam or Ian, whoever's free. And we're going to run through with uh, what they're displaying today. So um, just to let you know, you're, you're, on, you're live and direct on YouTube. Hi. Don't worry, we don't, we don't show faces so we don't have to get embarrassed. But tell us what we've got today. Tell us what... Uh, Okay, so we've what got a selling? complement of diagnostic machines today. We've got the Hella range, so the PC, 56, and the Mega Max X. And? Ah, we've got our special tool here. This is our A1 remote diagnostics interface, which will allow for remote diagnostic programming, coding, and ADAS calibrations. Anybody Oscar, used Adam, to, uh, when we use Oscar, and uh, they've seen the Oscar okay. videos and the, uh, the Autel yes. videos, if we've done any remote ones, that is A1's own version, which, um, 
Yep. Yeah, we, we support in house. We yeah, we support in house from our UK based technicians. Um, and then yeah, all fully trained with full range of even diagnostic equipment. There we go. And moving round, we have we have the Auto Ultra, which is the flagship of the Auto uh, Auto range, um, along with the Maxi Flash VCMI um, interface. Auto 909. Everybody will know the MS 909 because that's featured many times in, in the videos. We've already seen it on the Auto Scan earlier, uh, stand earlier, so we won't spend too long on it. Yep, K Boss KTS 560. So, one are the guys for the Boss KTS 560, which is laptop based, isn't it? It is, you can run off laptops with three licenses, yep. And uh, com comes with a scope on that. Also, we haven't got it here, but we've also got the 590 as well. Um, we've also got the latest edition Autel, which only came out yesterday into the UK. Oh, look where you saw it first. Which is the 900, which is a small handheld scanner, um, competitively priced, plug in with a cable, away you go. And we're time now. Oh yeah, probably run up. So it's not, it's not Bluetooth, is it cable? It's cable operated, so yeah. it's, it's for your entry level. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's an entry level market, but it is the same diagnostic functionality as some of the bigger tools. And this price? £800 plus the bar. £800 plus the VAT, and it's got bi-directional yes. everything. Yep. Two, yeah. years, two years updates, two years warranty. Yep. There we go. So. Norfolk based people, you may not, not know yet of A1 Diagnostics, but that's where we get our Autel from. And they help us out with the remote diagnostics as well for the ODIS program. We do, of course. Which we, we, do. Do, we do struggle on the ODIS, so um, what we will do, we will just zoom in on the card for you. So if you want to contact Ian, that's their contact details. Lovely, thank you very much. One of the things that has really struck me today is the amount of Chinese um, stalls there is. Like we have the Chinese power steering, Chinese lighting electrical, Chinese Ying Yong wheel company, and we have the Chinese car cover company, and Yong Chang Traffic Machinery Company, Spotless Bioe Wiper Blades, Xinyong Auto Parts, Wangzhou Technology. Hmm, makes you think, doesn't it? Let's see what I've got here. eye-catching uh, stalls that we still haven't been able to uh, check out. Helico Technology. Don't know what they do but it uh, uh, looks like all uh, exhaust manifolds. Oh there's right to video just doing anything for yeah. YouTube. Yeah yeah yeah. yeah. Please, if you just could uh, tag us in there that would be fantastic. Yeah yeah you've got a very eye-catching stand. We mainly do vehicle electronics so it's probably not for my audience but it's an <laughs> eye-catching stand so yeah. you are Deborah? Deborah, Helicon yeah. Technology. Well, I've got uh, about 5% battery left. Very okay. quickly, tell us what you do and um, see if. Uh... Yeah, well, we produce the Speed 12 Turbo, but mainly to showcase our products, which are um, actuators, electronic, and pneumatic for turbochargers and mm -hmm. wastegate control. And we have our exhaust valves as well for noise attenuation and EGR back pressure control. This is on one of our titanium exhaust systems. Titanium? Well, TIG welded titanium? Yep. I bet that weighs a feather. Um, it, it's probably... It feels less when you're comparing it yeah. to that, but unfortunately we've lost the strap oh, for no. that one. But yeah, so, and then this is just our passion project. A passion project? Is that a to totally one-off made vehicle, is it? This is the first one that, that is kind of road production. There's going to be 12 in all and that's going to be it. Right. So this is for the very, US market. Very quickly, drive. engine, chassis, what is it all tiger made? With engine the engine is an Aston Martin engine that's been fully bored out and modified. It's 1,012 horsepower, 281, that's right, 218 miles an hour. It's an Aston uh, Martin eater then. What's that? It's an Aston Martin eater. Yeah. Eat them up and spit them out. Yeah, yeah. Lovely. 6 litre V12. Beautiful. And, and uh, 
very quickly before we shoot off to the next one. Can I have a website and zoom in on? Uh, yeah, if you zoom in on that, it's helicopternology.com. There we go. Helicopter-technology. And zoom in on the card. There we go. Right, so we're back at the Magic Motorsports um, kiosk. And uh, this little device I was interested in, um, Nicole in here from Magic Motorsports is just displaying it to us. And uh, it's basically, we could call it like a miniature BDM frame or boot mode um, adapter frame. It's quite interesting, instead of getting the standard BDM okay, frame out, for example, this is the it connects up like so. Yes. Then. And you can put like BDM adapters right, onto yeah. it. Yep. yep. And uh, boot pin adapters, so multiple ones. Yes. Little window. These like, are the BDM adapters. Right? Yep. So these are like your uh, EDC 70 or EDC yeah, 60. Uh, yeah. Uh, it depends from the microprocessor. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they they need to show the right the, the right adapter for the BDM and JTAG. Yeah. Uh, Two times. Ports. Yes. Because previously everything would be like a big aluminium frame which would come up and down and it takes a lot of setting up and uh, you might have bought a Chinese one like we did and they fall all over the place and uh, yeah, but this is... Uh, so in this way, uh, so if we imagine this would be like a standard boot connector yeah. that we want to put on for that. Oops, sorry, I shouldn't there. So that's a spring probe in the end there. And it's all the spring probe. And if I had if I had to transcribe it over correctly, nothing would happen here. Okay. Okay. And it presses in, and then you want to find find the boot wire. So just for example, it's not actually the boot pin. No, 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 just example. Yeah, it's just example, yeah. So it would normally be a very small uh, hole just somewhere on there, which uh, you'd need to go into. So for example, if you need to, I'm zooming in. So. Our website. No? Mm -hmm. In practice, we'd be a lot more concentrated and we'd be under a much better environment. We are really in a noisy hall. Then you need to connect here. Yeah, this is a this is a new like bespoke connector, which um, you put your normal coloured cables from your flex box into this connector and then out. Yeah, out like so. Yep. And what is the uh, list price on the equipment, please? Uh, only of this one? Yeah, yeah. Uh, only, only of the mini bench is 390. 390. Does that include any spring probes? Yeah, yeah. Have, have five of this. So five spring probes, the bench, uh, the uh, the arms, the connector. It's like a screw-on yeah. connector. So it should go on most people's bench. Mm -hmm. um, this is one we're thinking about getting, actually. So you might see in some future videos we'll be using this. Um, obviously, we have the flex and the flex box already, and the etc. etc. And that comes obviously with that cable to yeah connect up. Uh, quite quite a good entry level, easy to use kit. Yep, lovely. Anything else new from Magic Motorsports? Yeah, yeah. Most people probably the tuning guys out there will know about the Dino Road. Um, we don't have that. We don't really. We don't actually do a lot of tuning. We do cloning. Okay. We, we have a company buying and selling ECU, so... Uh, we also have but, this one. Uh, if you know what, what it is. Uh, let's have a look, if I just zoom in. These are... I have actually no idea what they are. Can I just take one out and look? That would be... Um, this one. You can take this one that is already removed. Oh, right? I guess I know what this is. If you get a multi-plug, yeah, and you can't see the wires, you put that on and that'll guide you into where to put the wires, which, uh, yeah, because sometimes counting them, one, two, three, four, five, seven, up to the yeah. 17th wire, yeah, that's Yeah, but also yeah, this, clever. this color, oh, okay. this, this color here, yeah. is because you can, uh, you not need to, you not need to uh, check the diagram on yep. the manual or the flex because you know that this blue, the pin blue, is the uh, can, can high or low, yeah, or yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And the green would be the K line, and the white and the blue are the yeah. GPT cables, yeah. whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the reds, 
Yeah, yeah, so well, that'll you can take, use it yeah. without using the manual and it's yeah. for safety also. And yeah. Yep. How much is a set of those? Uh, 189. Yeah, that's not too bad. No, novel little idea because we do mostly uh, it is mostly bench work we do so um, yeah I'm getting older and it's getting harder to find the pins so it might be a, it might be an investment but I do like uh, I particularly do like the uh, the little mini bench that's the uh, just to show everybody there that's the connector on the back that's how it connects if you're wondering so it connects on the back of the bench right I think that's uh, I think that's everything. Anything new on the software coming up on Magic Motorsports Flex? Uh, release the uh, MD1, MG1 uh, with the new uh, protection. MDGC0001, yeah, yeah, I know the ones. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, they are at the moment uh, the newest are protected from a uh, uh, password and new password. Right, yeah. And our staff developers uh, are working on it to, uh, yeah, yeah. to, to a new solution to read uh, this new card. Right, right, good. Yeah. And hopefully the SID 307s and SID 309. Reynolds, which is password. Hopefully, they'll come online at some point because that's the one that we struggle with. We, we have to obviously clone them. And people bring one from a breaker's yard, and it's like, you can't do it. You got to get the password, so we can't do it. But, but hopefully, uh, well, a little bit by little bit, we'll get everything. Anyway, thank you very much. That's Magic Motorsports, and uh, appreciate it. Have a good day. Thank you. Thanks, mate. Bye bye. And I found the power probe stand. One of the names that everybody would be interested in. Great screen showing you the new products. We've got the standard power probes and the new testers. Um, and it's the classic, it's the Lucas Oil Stand. Every event I've ever been to, there's always been a Lucas Oil Stand. Hi there, every time I've ever been anywhere, there's always been a Lucas Oil Stand. Ah, oh, we're everywhere, mate. Yeah. We're everywhere. Um, we're like a rush. Yeah. <laughs> Not at all. I make YouTube videos. Is it okay to film your, your website? Yeah, please do. Okay. What we have to show you is it's a Lucas stand. And we have the classic, the classic gear wheels. How many times did I used to play with this at my motor factors years ago? You can't see the oil go up on the plain motor oil. But you do it with a Lucas, you can. Never known if that's a valid test or not, but I've had loads of fun playing with that over the years. Um, Anything new on your range you'd like to tell people about? Just said the ceramic is the newest product on the range. Ceramic, which is? Ah, oh, it's a speed wax, not a lubricant then. We've uh, gone into balloting. So uh, we've always had a range of balloting products with the original slick mist. Yeah, yeah. Um, but the ceramic one just obviously gives you that hydrophobic effect, mm -hmm. um, which will obviously just help keep the car nice and clean for longer. Fantastic, fantastic. That's it in a nutshell. And the, and the rest of the, the uh, traditional oil additives still all the same. Yeah. Still all the same. The classics. I think. I think everybody will know the Lucas range. People of a certain age will remember it because it was it was everywhere when I was uh, a young mechanic. Lovely, thanks very much. Thank you guys. Cheers. Right, that's what's happening at Lucas. Lucas Oil, not Lucas Electronics. Let's see what else we've got. This is one of the newer guys on the scene. This is this is Tunap. Um, had some Tunap stuff myself. It's all good quality. And it's Lucas's big rival. Molly. Again, one of the more traditional makes that has been advertising lubricants and additives for years. Probably not much what uh, you like guys have got to be interested in because I know you like the electronics like yourself. So uh, let's see what else there is.